sorry enough for the cars or Audi bus. And now, have they told you the beauty of our king, Crayon? I have heard that two sisters lost two brothers, a double dad and a single lover. And I know that the earth army fled in the night. But beyond this, nothing. Yeah, a tough song. And that is why I invite you here with me. There is something we must do. Why do you speak so strangely? Listen, Miss Min. Crown buried our brother at Templest with military honors. He gave him a soldier's funeral. And it was right that he should. What about our other brother, Polynesis? Fought as bravely and dead as miserably. They say that Crayon has sworn no one shall bury him, no one mourn for him. Think about it, this man. And now you can prove what you are a true sister or a traitor to your family. Antigone, you are mad. What could I possibly do? You must decide whether you will help me or not. I don't understand you. Help you what? Yes, ma'am. I am going to bury him. Will you come? Bury him? You have just said a new law for business. He is my brother. And he is your brother too. But think of the danger. Think that what Crown will do. Crown is not strong enough to stand in my way. But we have no threat to break the laws, Antigone. I don't care about the love. I will bury the brother I love. Antigone, I'm so afraid of you. Then, leave my false plan. I am not afraid of the danger. I will do everything for my brother. Go then. If you feel that you must, you are unwise. But a loyal friend indeed to those who love you. and Polynesis have killed each other in battle and are, as the next blood her, have taken over the full reins of the throne. And I have made the following decision regarding the sons of Oedipus. Ateoclus, who died fighting for his country, he will earn my respect while he is alive and my respect when he dies. on the 
unseemly flesh. Someone has given it burial that way and gone. Huh? Who? I swear I don't know. You must believe me. Listen. The corporal pointed to it. There it was, the strangest. The body just mounded over with light dust. Not buried really, but as if they cover it, we all had proof that we could not have done it. I don't know who it was, but it was not I. I have been wondering, King. Can it be that the gods have done this? Stop! There is nothing in this world, so demoralizing is money. I swear to God and to God's throne, the person who has done this must pay the price. I swear by God and I by the throne of God, the man who has done this thing shall pay for it. Find that man, bring him here to me, or your dad will be least of your problems. I stream you up life and there is will certain ways to make you discover your employer before you die. Do you understand? King, may I speak? My God, you talk too much. Maybe, but I have done nothing. Bring me the man. You will get a little profit from them in the end. <laughs> Bring me the man. He can only rule. At any rate, I'm safe. did it. We caught her in the very act of burying him. Where is Crayon? Just coming from the house. What has happened? Why have you come back so soon? Oh, King. A man should never be too sure of anything. Here is this woman. She is the guilty one. We found her trying to bury him. This is Antigone. Why have you brought her here? She was burying here. I tell you. Is this the truth? I saw her with my own eyes. Can I say more? Tell me the details. Come, tell me quickly. It was like this. After those terrible threats of your skin, we went back and brushed the dust away from the body. Flesh was soft by now and stinking. So we sat on a hill to windward and kept guard. Then suddenly there was Antigone. Heard her crying bitterly. We ran and took her at once. She was not afraid, not even when we charged her with what she had done. She denied nothing. Fast, this thing. I do. I deny nothing. You may go. Antigone, tell me, tell me briefly, have you heard of the new rule in this problem? Yes, it was public. And yet you dare defy the law. I dare. The 
was not a proclamation of God. A hero must die. And if I should die now, before my time has come to die, surely there is no difficulty. My death is not important. But if I leave my brother lying dead unburied, I will suffer. No, I don't. Crayon, <laughs> call me a fool if you like. But it is possible that the fool convicts me of folly. Like father, like daughter, but his child. She has never learned to yell. She has much to learn. Pride. This girl is guilty of a double insolence, breaking the given laws, and boasting of it. Sister's child. She and her sister win bitter dead for this. Go, some of you, arrest this woman. I accuse her of blood. Bring her. Her mind is traitor. Crayon, what more do you want than my dad? Nothing. That's Then I beg you, kill me. This talking is a great weirdness. Your words are distasteful to me. And I am sure that mine seems so to you. And yet they should not seem so. I should have praise and honor for what I have done. All these men here would praise me were their lips not fusion shut with fear of you. Ah, the good fortune of kings. Lessons to say and know whatever they please. You are alone here in that opinion. No, they are with me, but they keep their tongues at least. Maybe, but you are guilty and there are none. There is no guilt in reverence for the dead. But Atheopolis, was he not your brother too? He is my brother too. And you insult his memory. The dead man would not say that I insulted him. He would, for your honor, a traitor. As much as him. His own brother, traitor or not, and equal in blood. He made war on his country. The Teclas defined it. Nevertheless, there are arms to all the dead. But the same for the wicked as for the just. Ah, uh, crayon, crayon. Which of us can say that the gods hold weak? An enemy is an enemy, even death. It is my nature to join in love, not hate. Go, join it. Then if you must have your love, find it in hell. But see, it's been kind. Those two are sister with the cloak that shadows her eyes rest down gentle soul. You two is me. All the time I never knew that these two sisters were aiming at my thrones. It's me. Confess for your sir in this crime or deny it. Answer me. You two is men. All the time I never knew that these two sisters were aiming at my throne. Ismen, do you confess your sir in this crime or deny it? Answer me. Yes, if she will let me say so, I'm guilty. No, Ismen. You have no right to say so. You would not help me, and I will not let you help me. But now I know what you meant, and I am here to join you to take my share of punishment. Ismin, gods know who did it. Do you remember me and Gabby? I want to die with you. I too have a daddy that I must return to the dead. You shall not lose my death by sharing it. What do I care about life when you are dead? <laughs> Ask Crayon. You're always hanging on his opinion. You're laughing at me. Why, Antigone? It's a jealous lover, Ismail. But, but can I do nothing? Yes. Just have yourself. I shall not invite you. There are those who will praise you. I shall have honor too. But we are equally guilty. No more is me. You are a leaf. 
but I belong to thee. My people, I beg you to observe these girls. One has just now lost her mind. The others, it seems, has never had a mind at all. Grief teaches the steady minds to waver, King. Yours certainly did. When they assume guilt with the guilty. But how could I go on living without her? You are. She is already dead. But your own sounds bright. I don't want a mean woman for my son. Oh, dearest Haman, how your father wrongs you. Do you really intend to steal this girl from your son? No, dear, will you dead for me? Then she must die. You dazzle me, but enough of this talk. You, dare take them away and guard them well. Final judgment on that girl. Have you come here heading me? I'm your son, father. You are my guide. You make things free for me and I obey you. No marriage means more to me than your continuing wisdom. Good. That is the way to be have everything else. My son, to your father's will. So you are right not to lose your head over this woman. We keep the laws then, and the lawmakers, and no woman shall seduce us. If we must lose, let's lose to a man. Is a woman stronger than me? Father, reason is God's crowning gift to man, and you are right to warn me against losing mine. You must believe me, must not any son fail you his father fortune as his father done this. I beg you, do not be unchangeable, do not believe that you alone can be right. But I know I am still young. But please let me say this. The idiots I added men should be right by I instinct. But since we are all too li likely to get lost, it makes sense to learn from those who can teach. You will do well to listen to him, King, if what he say is sensible, and you, Haman, must listen to your father, but speak well. How dare you advise our people? My voice is the only voice giving orders in this city. Country is king. It is not city if it takes order from one voice. The state is king. Yes, if the state is a desert. This boy, it seems, has sold out to a woman. You'll never marry her while she lives. Then she must die, but her death will cause another. Another? If you were not my father, it is say you were privileged. You go struck fool. Don't play the words with me. I'm sorry, your previous lines. Now, by God, bring her out. Bring the woman out. Let her die before his eyes. And you will never see my face again. You want at least into the underworld, untouched by sickness, broken by no snow. What woman has ever followed you your way to death? How often I have heard the story of Neil, Tantalus rich builder, how the storm clung floods above her. I feel the loneliness of her death in mind. You love 
laugh at me. Friends, can you not wait until I am dead? Oh, Tobias, oh man, many carriers did. Dear space of years, the witnesses for me, the night of pity, unjustly judge. You had pity. Oedipus, father and brother, your Mary strikes from the grave to murder mine. I have been a stranger here, in my own land, all my life. Take her go, leave her alone there, and if she lies or dies, that's her fate, not ours, our hands are clean. <laughs> Come, let us wait no longer. Hey, old Theresius. What new thing have you to tell us? I have not to tell you. Listen to the prophet prayer. This prayer, you stand once more on the edge of faith. What do you mean? Listen, prayer. I have a string not where the best gather about me. I tell you, prayer. You, yours have broke this new calamity upon us. It is for your own good. You should be able to heal for your own good. No, Theresius, I would not yield. Do what you will, I still won't bury it. Ah, Creon, is there no man left in the world? No man who knows that the storm awakes anywhere. You are sick, Creon. You are dead to see. You forget yourself. You are speaking to your king. I know it. You are a king because of me. Speak whatever you say. You will not change my will. Then take this and take it to her. The time is not far off when you sail, baby. Coast for coast, place of your own place. Not many days in your hopes will be full of men and women within. And curses will be heard. As you from proceeded grieving for songs and brave, let me to before the walls of Thebes. I cannot say of any condition of human life. Creon was happy once, as I can happiness, and now it has all gone from him. What is your news for us? They are dead. Who is dead? Speak. Human. Human is dead. And the hand that killed him is his own hand, driven mad by the murder his father had done. Theresius, Theresius, how clearly you saw it all. But look, Eurydice, our queen, has she overheard us? I have heard something, friends. Dearest lady, I will tell you plainly all that I have seen. I went with crown to the altar fun where Polynesis was lying. No, friend, no pity him. Then one of the servants had the gun ahead and he heard a voice gripping within the candle and he came back and told Creon and he begged us to make our help and hang herself human life beside her praying that his father had stolen her away from him. When Creon saw him, the tears rose to his eyes, and heaven suddenly drew his sword and lunged, and now he lies dead with his knee. She has 
just leave us without a word. What can this mean? She was probably too sad. And she must have gone to her room to cry. I will see what she is doing. I will go in. Oh, look at him. Here you see the father Mangui, the murdered son, and all my civic wisdom, him and my son. So young, so young to die. I was the fool. That is the truth. But you were late in learning it. But the truth is hard to bear. The burden you carry in your hand is heavy, but it is not hard. You will find more in your heart. Ha! <laughs> what else is that? The queen is dead. Oh, poor of the deaf world. Is there no pity for me? Is my wife dead? You can see for yourself. Oh, pity. Oh, my wife. My son. Oh, God. I'm sick with fear. Are there no sword here? Has no one a blow for me? For the death of God. It is right. It is right that it should be. I'm alone. I'm guilty. I know it. And I say it. You are right. If there can be right in so much wrong, the bravest way is best in a world of sorrow. Let me wait. I have been lost and foolish. I have killed my son and my wife. There is no happiness where there is no wisdom. No wisdom but in submission to the gods. Big words are always finished, and proud men in all age learn to be wise.